So here we are. I'm just connecting all of my streams here. So just bear with me while all of that happens. And we will get this show on the road. Again, sorry, sorry I was slightly tardy today. Um, I'm still having a couple of camera connectivity issues. So we're going to be looking at it from a little bit of a different camera today. But I think we'll be in good shape anyway. So, so don't you worry about a thing. We've got this. Okay, so I think, give me a, a shout out if you guys can hear me. Looks like the bead shop stream, the Facebook stream just went live. I see that. And I see that it's live over there on YouTube. So it looks like it's time to get this show on the road. Alrighty. Well, today we're going to play with kimono cord. Now, um, the kimono cord is, um, we have a bunch of really cool projects with it and we've got some new ones here too that I'll show you a little closer up here um, so you can see those in just a second. Um, but I think they're going to be pretty fun. And if you go over to our website, to beadshop.com, you'll be able to see under, um, I think it's under Kimono Cord Projects, actually. Um, I did a wrap. There's all kinds of really cool stuff. But today, we're going to uh, look at a new design I've been playing with. And I was playing around with it yesterday, like all day. And you know how it is when you're like trying to force this design to come, right? Well, yesterday, mm, not so much. But today, in the shower where I get my best ideas, I think I hit on it. So we'll see. And as you know, our um, Friday broadcasts are a little more laid back. So uh, we're going to be pretty laid back today. So we've got Janice over on the YouTube channel chatting and saying hi and we've got Gita. It looks like over it's either Gita or Drea. I'm not sure uh, uh, who's over there linking but I think it is both of them I think maybe or one of them. Anyway so that's what we've got. So without any further ado I want to jump in but before we do that I want to let you guys know where you can find us right? Um, you can find us on all kinds of social, right? Um, uh, beadshop.com on Insta, which always has some fun stuff. Drea does a great job with that um, Insta. It's awesome. And then um, we've got our bead table group um, over on Facebook. It's our bead shop group. A lot of fun stuff happens over there. And then of course you can give us a subscribe right uh, here on YouTube at beadshop.com. We love those follows and subscribes and all of that kind of stuff. Okay. And of course you can find all of the information on the project and the products from today's broadcast right on our website. Drea is doing some live adding to uh, this page. It's called October Blossoms, so I named it before I finished it, right? And sometimes that gives you some inspiration, right? So I think it did for me. So I'm going to try and move around this kind of crazy camera setup I've got today, and let's take a look at what we've got going on, okay? So what I've got here is, this is our um, Mums on Green uh, kimono cord, which I love. Now, the kimono cord, uh, if you haven't used it before, I love it. And I know a lot of you guys love it too, right? Because it is, uh, it's a... Um, like a kimono fabric, right? That the ends and stuff have been made into this cool cord that is wrapped around um, like a cotton interior. Okay, it kind of looks like that. And so um, what we've got here today, we put all of the new stuff back in stock. All of the new kimono cord is back in. 
Um, and you can see it uh, if you go under, I think it's under, I will tell you, on Bead Shop, it's under Chords. And you click on Chords, you see Kimono Chord, which I'm clicking on right now so I can see it. Um, you guys love this one so much that it's already sold out, but we will get this back in. This is Bamboo Leaves on Light Gray. Um, we have it coming, so don't don't you worry your pretty little heads. It'll be back in really, really shortly. And then this, it, it's so cool. I love this gray and black. It's awesome. And then this one is the Cherry Blossoms on Navy, and it has kind of a real kind of a peach flavor, uh, color flavor to it, though. The light's a little bit hot today, so I apologize for that, but um, but it's it's a good one. So um, so we have another shipment coming right afterwards, so we've got a couple that have sold out already, but don't you worry. We will have them back in for you guys ASAP. Um, this one, I just, I really like this leaves on light gray. Um, there you go, you can see it here. Again, maybe if I put it back here a little bit, it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. But it's a great neutral. So, but we've got a lot of the cords in, right? And so, um, it, it really is endless. And you know, it's pretty cool. I went online just to see, I googled kimono cord projects. And <laughs> to my delight, bead shop was really at the top of the, at the top of the food chain on that one. So it was pretty cool. So, um, but you will have, uh, there's a whole bunch of really cool ideas over in that kimono cord um, section on our website. Okay. So this is the temple clasp. And so when Drea and I were talking about this project yesterday, I was like, okay, this is the stuff I'm going to use, Drea. But I wasn't, it just, oh, it just wasn't coming right and so I was like well no time like the present um yeah you guys are talking about the ivory waves that's this one ivory waves let me see if I can get it in the shot there it is all of a sudden it magically appears that's this one this will be back in too we'll have it so I'm sorry you guys love the kimono cord so much but don't worry put put yourselves on the notification list it'll be it'll be back in in no time so I wanted, like I've done wraps and other stuff with this cord, but I wanted something that was kind of fast to make, had a lot of visual impact with the cord, and used, I'm in love with these new tiara cast rings that we have, these hammered rings. This one, It's a little over 30 millimeters, so it's pretty substantial, right? And so if I were showing it to you on my wrist, it's kind of big, okay? So um, I'm kind of, so I wanted that to be the center, right? I wanted to make a bracelet, and so I wanted that to be the focal and to be the center. I'm going to see if I can lower this light a little bit, you guys. It's a little hot. It's a little hard for you guys to see, so... Bear with me here just a second. Let me turn that, is that any better? Let me see. There we go. That's a little less crazy bright. There we go. Um, so, uh, so I wanted this to be a bracelet, right? And I wanted this thing to be the focal point again. And so what I did, what I've had done for about three days, okay, is this silk wrap on the end. Okay, and I thought, this, so so just go with me, because I hope it's going to work. You know, it, I like to fly by the seat of my pants on Fridays, right? So I had this ring, and I thought, well, you know, the cord, I liked how I looped it through there, okay? And the cord, what you can do, what I was thinking about doing is kind of weaving it in, kind of like that, right? And then weaving it back. So, and I'm working with about a yard of the cord. So I'm gonna get this other end. These are those hammered hoops that we get. Also, they match the tiara cast. So see what I've got here? 
I'm kind of making this thing where it, whoops, it's not sitting right. Um, I need to make this, sorry, I need to make this weave the other direction. Right. So we've got those three cords going in the center. And then I'll silk wrap here, I'll silk wrap this one on, and I'll silk wrap this. So we've got kind of this center component with the threads. Okay, so let me kind of, I'm not even really sure how long I wanted to make this piece. And this actually wants to go this way, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this out. So the weaving has to look right, right? So I doubled this over, I looped it, and I silk wrapped it, okay? So now I'm going to do the same thing over here. Here's my, and I want this to be about the same length. And then I'm going to weave it through, so if this one goes over, this has to come under, and that has to go over. Okay. And that's going to silk wrap there. And then I'll have these ends that I think I'm also going to silk wrap. I could silk wrap them all together, but I think I'm going to do them separately. And I want this to look pretty even as I make it. Okay? So I also want to figure how I want this to sit on my wrist too, right? Because I want a little bit of room. So maybe I want this to be maybe a little tighter. But this cord just kind of screams like weaving and textiles and 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 um, you know silk wrap, all of that stuff to me. Yeah, I think that's about right. So just go with me on this here. So I'm going to make this, so I've silk wrapped this one to start, right? So now I'm going to silk wrap its opposite over here. And I'm using some Nutmeg Regular Ceylon, though you can use just about anything, right? that you have, you like to silk wrap with. Someone asked real quick what the outside material is made of. And it is like a, um, I think it's like a polyester that's kind of made to look kind of silky. Though some are a little silkier than others. Like this um, green has kind of a nubby texture to it, right? But like this gray one, this almost feels like cotton, but it's probably a poly cotton blend. And you can see they have kind of different diameters and they work with different end caps. So like this gray one, this is our temple cap. It's a little bit big for this, but like this green one here or like this blue, this, this, um, um, the, the, that blue and pink one. You see you can kind of fold that in half and glue it into this temple cap. So there's a lot of different caps that it goes with. So Jazz does say this one is cotton. This one here, this gray one. Yeah. And it's cool. I really like it a lot. I like it a lot. So I'm going to silk wrap this and let's see what it looks like. Now we've got a skill builder on silk wrapping. Okay, so I'm not going to detail it too much here, but essentially I get my piece of thread, my seal on, my regular seal on, this is nutmeg, and I'm going to wrap. Okay, and I'm just going to wrap around. I've got a loop. I'll show you what's under my finger here in a second if I can tame this thread. There we go. And see how I have that loop that's underneath here.
though I want to make sure sorry I'm at a little bit of an awkward angle so it's giving me a little bit of sass here but see how I put that loop on the very top I come around and I start to wrap and I want everything to look kind of even so hopefully this is going to look fairly even as I go. I'm sorry if there's a little bit of noise outside. Uh, they're going to be working on our street outside for a while. <laughs> so you may hear a little bit of background noise from time to time. I want to kind of hold these up together and see if my silk wraps look even. They're even-ish. I think that's all we can ask for really. But you need to keep everything tight or else things kind of escape like they're doing for me now. So there we go. Once I've created that silk wrap, I'm going to come in, put this end through the loop, and to secure it, I'm going to come back on this other side, pull that little loop underneath so it catches my thread, and then pull on both there. Okay, and it's evened out very nicely. And so you can see what I have here is this cord is connected to these loops here. And you can do this to chain. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, today I'm really making this up. But I wanted something kind of different and new. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right. So now then, I'm going to bring this side around and that side is already around and I'm going to come in and I'm going to silk wrap these here and here okay so I can have like um, though there does seem to be some room so just bear with me here a second let's see what this looks like if I bring it back one more time bring it back through I could silk wrap that there and then I could bring this one around the back yeah see this connection I don't know uh, mm, no nah. it's good thought but this way you actually see more of the loop too which I like this interior hoop so I'm gonna go ahead and silk wrap this side <clears throat> Let me get some more of that seal on. And this connector, I mean, you know, here at Bead Shop, we're kind of all about, um, we're all about kind of like wrap, bracelet, you know, wraps and stuff like that. This, this section here that I'm making want to make sure that's even. Sorry, I'm a little off camera there. <clears throat> I want this to be pretty uh, even and nice here as I wrap it around. But this section you could also use in a necklace or as a bracelet component. But I really like, I don't know if you saw the earrings that um, I, on Wednesday's broadcast, we did this whole shebang with some of the new um, component parts we got from Tierra Cast, as well as we looked at some of the different um, closures for um, peyote stitch bracelets and stuff. And so I peyote stitched, I used that odd count peyote stitch to create those earrings um, out of this loop and this loop. So this is just kind of a continuation of me thinking about how to use those component parts. If you haven't seen them, Drea posted them in the group. We're getting a um, a page up so you can see those and they're also on our social. So let me wrap this one over here. But I'm pretty pleased with them. Karen has them, she's photographing them, or I'd actually be wearing them today because I love them. You want to make sure also that your kimono cord isn't twisted or funny, right? So we want to make sure it's good. And Audrey's asking, um, 
uh, we don't have to glue a silk wrap? And the answer is negative. You do not. All of that thread, that knot that you tie, should be nice and snug and tight. So this last cord, I want to make sure that it's right, you know, the tension on all these cords is right. And I'm going to wrap it. Then we'll see what we have. It may all end in tears, but you never know. But it's Friday, so, you know, not that time has any meaning this year in 2020, but... Um, <laughs> But it is still Friday, so we can have those Friday vibes going on, right? Also, this October, now that we're in October, we're coming up on our four-year anniversary, you guys, of these live broadcasts, which I just can't even imagine. I remember the first broadcast, God, I don't even want to go back and watch it, but the very first Bead Shop Live broadcast I did so long ago. I remember I was, we were broadcasting. I came up to Janice and I was all, okay, this is what we're gonna do. And Janice, bless her heart, all of the years that I've worked for her, I think she's told me no. <laughs> like maybe, I don't, I can even, I, I, I'm, I bet she hasn't even told me no ever, actually. <laughs> but, um, uh, so I said, this is what we're going to do, JP. We're going to do this live broadcast, and it's going to be super fun, and we're, you know, and she's all, just do it. She goes, I don't understand what you want to do, but go ahead and do it. So it's all perfect. So um, I remember she came in. It was, we were in our old office. She was still living here in the Bay Area. And she says, uh, and I was broadcasting. I was in the middle of the broadcast. And I remember her coming up the stairs and I was all, Janice, say hi to everybody. And she's all, oh, great. Hey, hi, everyone. And then my mom texted me later after the broadcast. And she said, Kate, what they really want to see is they want to see Janice too. And so that's when I was able to persuade her um, to come on with me, which was awesome, which was great. So, um, so that was really, it was those... Um, live broadcasts when we were on together were so so super fun it was really really fun so um we are gonna be celebrating with janice joining me uh next week uh also um i'll tell you a little bit more about that before we end the broadcast but we are going to have some kind of big celebration what that celebration is i don't know drea and i haven't dreamed it up yet but we will Four years, you guys. Four years I've been coming at you live, which is just crazy to think about it here at Bead Shop. I'm gonna just use my clippers. You can see I just wanna neaten this up. And what I might do, this is gonna be on the back anyway, but I just wanna make sure that everything looks nice and neat and clear and clean, okay? so. We're, we're here. I know Zoe's like, I cannot believe it's been four flipping years. I know I can't either. So I thought you guys, I bet you guys thought that was going to look like the dog's breakfast, but I think it actually looks pretty cool, this component, right? So essentially it's the kimono cord coming around, wrapping, silk wrapping here and weaving through the center. Now, we have a lot of fun stuff that we can do with this little charmer. So if this was going to be on my wrist, which I think it is, right there in the middle, right? We need to um, connect and figure out how we're going to do the back. Now, I have some chain. I have some ideas. Um, I thought, <sighs> heavy sigh, no, that was, a, I didn't mean to have that sigh be so heavy. But I had gotten this, I'm really on a fancy pants chain kick here lately, right? I really, really dig it. So I grabbed some fancy pants chain, but today this is also that wrapped coil chain. Um, I grabbed that too. 
because I I really like it and I thought I thought what looked so cool with these chains and stuff were these tiger eye rondelles okay so just just go with me on this and you know when I don't know what to do next it's always wire wrapping to the rescue right that's always how I feel so I'm gonna grab I think I have some sitting right here I'm hoping that I do hope against hope bear with me here just a moment um, I have some wire here well I'll start out with I know you're here wire do you guys see it there we go here it is 22 gauge okay I've got it right here <laughs> my mom's saying for God's sakes no more fancy pants I don't I like the fancy pants chain I don't know and you can just I don't so let's 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 build let's build a little bit here so I've got this leaf falling right here it's called and I've got some of these little leaves I've got some of those I've got some rollers um, and I want to grab so take a look take that in for just a second there see what you think of that and I'm also going to grab <laughs> Drea is at the ready her fingers are at the ready to start typing what I'm going to add in I think I'm going to add I think I want some head pins for those other things so I know I get on a kick, a chain kick or whatever, and I don't, I don't want to move along, but it'll be time to move along eventually. I'm going to use some mixed metals here because on these leaves there's copper. So let me wire wrap a little charm here. I'm going to do this at Kate's speed. So someone's asking, Sherry's asking, so it's a bracelet. Okay, <laughs> good good one, Sherry. Sure, I'll call it a bracelet, right? So I'm going to wire wrap it here. And I'm going to wire wrap it closed. I'm, I'm going to connect it using a ring. So just bear with me here as I do that. Yeah, we'll call it for now, for at this moment, we're going to call it a bracelet. I hope you guys can see that. Let me raise the camera up just a little bit or a little close. Oh, this, the Saturns would also be a good one on there. Sherry's saying about the Saturns would be nice. Um, would be fun to, um, to attach. But I kind of want to give this component its due, right? So it could, <laughs> Sherry said you came in late, you weren't sure. I'm still not sure now either. So, uh, but we can use it in a variety of ways. So here's that. Let me, I'm going to use these rollers as like a little dangle almost. So I'm going to pretend this roller is a briolette. And my mom made a good point. She's saying that this um, wrapped chain is a little more calming with this, and actually, I tend to agree with you, Ma. I think that's a good, I think that's a good observation. So, see, I'm just going to pretend that this is a briolette. I'm putting the roller to the side, and I'm going to wrap it just as I would a briolette. Put it to the center, bend down, and we have skill builders on briolette wrapping, right? So up and over, down and underneath, hold it all together, 
and I'm going to connect all of these probably using jump rings so I'm just wire wrapping all of these closed okay there's that one and again I'm sorry the road work outside is getting a little loud so I'm sorry if that's impacting on our broadcast here whoops that's the flyer okay so look at that little cluster of cuteness right there okay so I'm going to use the cool thing about this chain like the fancy pants chain is its links that open and close okay so I'm gonna open that link because I feel like this is a little bare maybe so I think I want to add a little bit of embellishment there I don't know it may not look right but the only way we're gonna know is if we try so here's this one close it up and here's that falling that leaf and so you can see the way it's situated I used one of the oval jump rings from the fancy pants chain here but I need to put another ring so that it will hang the correct way so let's get another one of these put it put it on come on there we go connect it and it's so nice that all of these finishes though I am throwing a little bit of copper in there but I'm kind of pleased that all of these finishes are kind of matching up um, I like the way that cluster looks so let me let me make another one for the opposite side you know when in doubt add some dangles right add some wire and dangles here there's a question that Carla has which is a good question she's asking well what kind of silver doesn't turn color and you know metals in general so all of these findings and stuff that we use these are all plated okay they're mostly these TR cast findings are under a pewter finish here or under a pewter base but some of the other findings we carry like this leaf here this is on a brass base okay so those um, have been plated and when they're plated that plating usually is covered or coated with an anti tarnish coating okay so the para wire definitely is right all of this and this the the finish on these are really um, strong and sturdy para wire is a US made wire uh, made on the East Coast super dur durable the quality is excellent I'm very pleased with it um, metals like unplated brass bare copper and sterling silver those metals will tarnish right because through the simple oxidation in the air they just do that's how metals are sorry I can't get this in there um, there we go so that's just how those metals are right so whoops the camera sorry get back there camera don't lean too close to me um, and so you would use like a pro polish pad like we carry at bead shop and you would just polish the tarnish away you can also keep your jewelry sorry this camera it's giving me sass stay where I put you um, you would just do that um, do that polishing and then to kind of 
help your pieces not become polished or tarnished rather you need to kind of store them away from the air so you can store all of those baggies that you get from us at bead shop you can store you know your silver jewelry or you know um, unplated jewelry there you can also save you know when you get a new pair of shoes or sometimes they have them in medicine bottles stuff like that little packets of silica gel right or silica um, that silica little grains or whatever um, those you can use those too and they help keep moisture away um, from your pieces so that's those are both ways that you can kind of make that make your jewelry last a little bit longer without tarnishing but unfortunately metal does tarnish it does patina it's kind of like a living thing and it does kind of age right so here I'm doing that same wrap that same um, uh, kind of briolette wrap with this tiger eye rondelle and I'm using the green kimono cord the green mums which I don't know green fabric and green just sends me so that's one of my faves but it would work any of these would look gorgeous I'm a huge fan look at that red I love the red too we have the mustard I didn't bring the mustard one in but I love the way the mustard looks too. So here's that. Let me tighten this up. There we go. And cut this piece away. And then, so now I have a choice here. So I think I'm going to attach this little group of clusters to the opposite side. Okay. So let's do that with our chain. This wrapped link is so delicious and like I said before they make perfect heavy gauge jump rings because they do open and closing them that they're really closed. A jump ring is either open or it's closed. There's no almost closed in jump rings. And so uh, Drea is populating, as we speak, is populating a project page and the shoppable windows on that project page are all of the exact products I'm using. Thank you Drea for creating that, you and Karen getting on that so quickly. It's kind of fun flying by the seat of my pants though. I sometimes my best design work comes out of it because you can't overthink it right that's like what Brittany you know when Brittany was here a while back and she was showing us her bead collection right and her bead collection right now is fitting into just one box and you know Brittany's a super accomplished beater right and to think that she only has her bead collection sitting in one box but it it gives her um, fewer choices right but it all kind of has a feeling to it right so I think it's I think it's kind of cool I I don't know about you but I'm loving this so this if it were a bracelet it'd be sitting here like this and we'd have a little bit of movement there it could also I'm going to change this to the front view So here's, you could also use this as a component part in a necklace, right? So I could have it here kind of like on the side or, I don't know, let me see. If I had this here or even up a little bit higher and I could have some multiple strands coming up here and then a single strand or something of chain coming up here. So this link, let me put it back on the thing and I can measure it for you. This is going to come out at about lengthwise. 
Let me get my trusty tape measure. This is about a four inch component right here. Okay. So, ah, sorry, come on now. Oh, it's because one of the legs got unlocked. There we go. Sorry about that. Let me center this camera back again. Here we go. I'm using the camera I used to use for old Free Tip Fridays, and so it's giving me a little sass. I love that Michelle is saying her bead collection fits into her entire condo. That's perfect. I love it. There we go. That looks good. So now, if I just wanted to, let's say if we just wanted to bracelet this up, okay, and, and call it a day with that. We have this really cool, um, it's this slider, uh, this hammered clasp, and this one, uh, they're really sturdy. Um, I uh, was chatting with one of our B groups, and Michelle's in that B group, and she was giving me a, a great piece of advice, and I want to share that with you. I did on Wednesday, but with clasps like this, these are so tough, right? They're so tough and tight, and it's great because you want them to be really tight on your wrist. So when you open and close them, give them a slide like this, right, to the side, rather than trying to pull them this way. If you slide them, they come off a lot easier. Okay, so let me attach. And what I might do, because I was thinking I had, I made this little wire wrapped component here that I dig, but I don't think it actually goes in this. See what I used? I liked them because these little flat rondelles that we carry in semi press how they're like the same as that little bale. I like it, but mm -hmm, it's not it's not quite right for what we've got going on here. So um, if this were four, let me get out my ruler because this is where I have to do some figuring. Okay, so if for my wrist this bracelet needs to be about seven and a half inches and if this is about it's about four and a half okay so seven and a half inches is gonna be about three and three quarters that's about the center right there so I've got a little less than an inch per side okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach a link that's the cutter on this side nice and closed. So this is going to give me about an inch and a half on this side. So I'm going to actually unclasp these. Measure that again. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. I'm going to err on the side of five. I may have to take one out, but that's okay. I'll open this. Bring it over to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. 
bring that one over to the other side and use it to close over here. Now this would also be a good component in a wrap, right? You could start a wrap from this. I could have this chain go around, you know, a couple of times around my wrist, right? I don't know, something like that. But one, two, three, four, five. Oops, this magnetic clasp, I'm actually gonna clasp it because I measured it. Get that open, get this clasp on, close it up, this one open, close it up. Okay. And so now, slide, not pull, slide. And if they're just, yeah, look at that. It's almost exactly right. So here on the back, I'm gonna turn this around. This would be perfect for more charms, more wire wraps, right? And thanks, JP, I'm glad you think it's kind of chic. I, I think it is too, kind of. Um, I, I'm kind of happy with, I'm actually really happy with how this is. I may, I don't know, you could wire, wrap this all again, but I actually don't mind that movement that that has in it. And I could get like some more, got some more charms here, right? If we absolutely had to have your friend and mine, the fancy pants chain in there. Let me see what this looks like. Just, and I know you guys have some of this because you've been, I've been harping for a while. Right, I could put that there, that little ring. So it acts like a little charm. And then I could get another, have I used all my head pins? No, I've got another one here. I'll attach another head pin. I don't know, I'm sure you have a little box of trinkets, right? <clears throat> I have a little box of little, just little one-off charms. I brought my charm bracelets in before to share with you guys. I'll have to do that again someday. But the or, or you can just rewatch the show. I don't have to redo it. But um, I love like movement and dangles and stuff on on pieces. I think they are kind of happy. And right now, I don't know about you guys here in the northern hemisphere, but. Winter is making me, coming is making me a little nervous. I don't know, right? I'm sure we'll be fine, it's fine. But, you know, I miss the light. I miss, I don't know, I love it when it's light so late in the day and stuff like that. I just, I love that. So, I think we're gonna need all the happiness we can muster to make this fall and winter as cozy as we can, right? So I'm gonna do my part by putting dangles on this bracelet. <laughs> Whoops. Let me wire wrap one more and then I'll make the other side match. So I think I would add another one of these falling charms maybe over here on that side. But let me just do, but see, look at how luscious that's starting to look, right? Oh, good job, Leslie, your flu shot. Chris and I got our flu shots last week, last Friday. It was no biggie, or no, Saturday. Saturday is when we did it. We drove through and uh, they just, they, you know, they, you sit in your car, they stick you with the, with your flu shot and then you're on your way, so it was no big deal. 
No big deal. And I hate shots. Ask my mom. I was a terrible, terrible as a kid. You know, when they used to give you shots at school. Remember you used to get, I don't know, U.S. schools. I don't know if you guys remember, but in high school, they'd, I don't know, whatever booster you had to have or whatever, and you had to line up in the gym. And, of course, I fainted dead away in front of half of my high school class. But, you know, whatevs. A little jab in the arm, better than the flu, right? So I feel super virtuous <laughs> that I got it. There we go. So there's that one. And yeah, doing all we can do to prepare for winter, right? Yeah, no, I didn't have any soreness either. I moved my arm around a lot that day, and no, I was all good. So, yeah, I was pretty proud. Though those of you, I know we have a big uh, following. A lot of you watch us from down under in the southern hemisphere, right? So you guys are getting ready for your spring, and your summer is happening for you guys. Um, so you'll be enjoying some fine sunny weather. But we're not going to let the darkness of the upcoming winter. We're going to be cozy. We're going to be creative. We're going to embrace that cozy time. And then spring will come again. Okay. So, uh, so look at that. I think that looks pretty good, I think. Right? Yeah, uh, the, uh, I have Kaiser is my insurance. I don't know if that's too much information for you guys, but Kaiser does have drive-in flu shot clinics. So check if you have Kaiser or check with your doctor and you might be able to find a drive through one, which is great. It was awesome. And those nurses, those frontline nurses, just given those jabs, it was awesome. It was awesome to have them. So, uh, so here it is. Here. It is, oh, Leslie's saying you have to go to your doctor. Yeah, you got, because you're across the pond, I remember, right, Leslie? You're not on this side of the pond, so yeah. So look at this, I'm, I'm kind of digging it. And if you feel like you want them, we could add a few more charms there, or we could leave it just here, right? So, yeah. And then I'll add some more little doodads here. But I'm, I'm kind of, and it's so comfy. It's kind of comfy and cozy to wear. Um, it would look great with a sweater, right? My little rolled up sleeves. Uh, I think it's good times, right? So, and you can do this woven thing. You know, kimono cord is great for it, but you know, you could also try this with leather, right? Two millimeter leather might look interesting. Flat um, um, suede, compassion suede, that might um, work, right? And yes, the Danish term, is it Heige? I can't ever pronounce that, Gita, but it's the coziness that you surround yourself in winter. Yes, I have always, here in my American ways, I'll say Heige, but I don't know if that's right, but yes. Uh, we have heard of that and we make our winters as cozy as we can and I think that this little bracelet is pretty cozy its own self so I'll add a few more of these and see this this little briolette wrap I just adore how it looks right here just as a briolette wrap coming down it would look great on um, on a, on an earring as well. Yeah, flat leather with like rivets or wire wrap. You know, make this your own um, your own deal, right? That'll that'll really work. So, kids, I hope. Let me turn this to the front here. Take a bracing sip of coffee. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's going dry with my excitement of all this. But you can see, I'm gonna put this on here. 
and it's real and it feels this this clasp is really super um super comf but look at how cute all of those little where am i going there these dangles and this up front i feel very fall chic i'm ready to do it okay so i'll have this finished karen will have it photographed we'll have it up on the website i'll put a few more little things on there and send you a photo so you guys can see it um Linda's asking real quick, can you slide beads onto the cord? Uh, you can, Linda, if they're large enough. Um, some of our vintage finds that are big will go through. Like this is that, the thinnest of our cords is this new gray one. And I have one of the roller beads. It's not fitting through. But if you get some of our vintage finds, some beads that have large holes, you could also peyote stitch, use some peyote stitch beads and stuff like that. You could go around. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm loving my little, my little cozy, my cozy bracelet. Um, so again, you can find over, we've called it October Blossom is the name. So if you go right over to beadshop.com and I will put this up so you can see that, you can find all of the information on the project and the products from today's broadcast. And don't you worry, my darling darlings, if some of the kimono cord is already sold out, we have more coming on the way and I'll put it in as soon as it, uh, as it comes in. So don't worry, it's something that we always carry, we'll always have it, so um, if we've sold out of your fave, uh, go right over to the website and put your name on the list, on the, on the waiting list. You'll get an email as soon as it comes back in. Do remember uh, that you can follow us, stay connected to us at beadshop.com on Insta, The Bead Table on Facebook, at beadshop.com right on YouTube. You can uh, give us a follow on YouTube, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That would be really awesome uh, because it really helps other people find us as well. Now, we've got a couple of things coming up. Next week, the Dynamic Duo is going to be back. Janice and I are going to be a really fantastic wrap bracelet that we're going to be talking about. Um, I'm going to be going through the motions of the wrap bracelet and Janice uh, is going to be talking about her design ideas and stuff like that. So it's going to be a lot of fun. That's next Wednesday. And then coming up, we're going to put more of that information up on our website. But you guys, we are doing this cool thing. We're super, super, uh, and I, I, I want to find it here for you. We're really um, fortunate to be participating in a couple of really cool things that are coming up, okay? Uh, we've got, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to find it here. There's gonna be more info coming up. Um, but it's uh, a big virtual kind of um, bead, what do I wanna say, uh, bead party right and it's going to be over the weekend let me tell you here real quick as i open this up it's going to be over the weekend of november 6th 7th and 8th okay so we uh are going to be uh, there'll be more info coming out about that it's all going to be virtual and it's going to be a bunch of our bead friends bead friends that you know and love who also do broadcasts um, and I'm going to be doing, uh, that weekend, my mom and I are on a little getaway. So this is a surprise, surprise to you, mom. We're going to go on and do a little demo, uh, on that. So there'll be more info coming up on that, but it's going to be like the great virtual beat extravaganza. And it's going to be a whole lot of fun. We're super stoked to be able to, um, uh, participate in that. And there will be more, um, there will be more, uh, info coming out about that there's going to be a page about it and everything so um it's going to be it's going to be really fun it's going to be a big virtual bead party we also have uh coming up we're participating in the beads of courage virtual bracelet making party you know they do it every year live in tucson and it's a big money maker it's a big fundraiser for beads of courage well, we're super excited to uh, be invited to create a little bracelet kit. 
big thanks to Beatalon and to TRCast for um, providing some of the materials in that kit. So tickets go on sale fairly soon, um, and so we're all going to be doing it virtually. And there's, I don't know, five or six Bead World people, but it's headed up, of course, by Katie Hacker um, uh, for Beads of Courage. So there'll be more info on that in your newsletters as well. So we have some virtual things coming at you that are going to be really fun and that we're really honored to be able to participate in. So. Um, I want you guys to have a great weekend. You know, there is a lot going on right now in the world. We're still uh, social distancing. We're still wearing our masks. We're still following the science about COVID-19. And we are still hopeful that uh, things will go on an upswing. So please, you guys, social, distance, masks, clean hands. We're getting through this one bead day at a time, but we've got this, right? We're gonna, we're gonna be creative all through these darker months and we're gonna come out the other side even more creative and better than we were. So hang in there everybody and Janice and I will see you on Wednesday for her latest wrap bracelet design. Thanks so much. We really appreciate you. Without you, we would not be here. So I will see all you all on Wednesday with JP, socially distanced. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.